Uh, this is a program that has one of two concentrations. One is policy analysis and administration, and the other is conflict resolution and peace studies. I work in the Policy Center as a graduate assistant for Dr. Hanna, and I also am a Peace Corps fellow in the program, so I work outside of campus on environmental issues with Penn Future. I am a uh, policy analysis concentration in the program, so the program is divided up between conflict resolution and policy analysis. I think that the strengths of the program have to do with its people with the passions that uh, surface here and with the place that uh, the Policy Center is located and that's in the city of Pittsburgh. In terms of the people, I think our students are exceptional in their interests, in their diverse backgrounds. They come from all over the world. I like that a lot of the students are from abroad. We have a student from Africa and some from uh, the Muskie program, which is, I think is a great strength in the program. Uh, and, of course, other students from across the country as well. They're interested in a myriad of topics, everything from energy policy to uh, policy uh, effectiveness of programs like Big Brothers and Sisters and Strong Women, Strong Girls. For a lot of the, the, the major papers and projects that I've had to work on in classes, I've always been able to sort of select what I'm interested in. So I'll be in a class with people that are interested in you know, topics ranging from unions to uh, international development issues to women's issues to prison reform and that's all capable because you're all sort of getting the same foundation but then when it comes time to apply it you can sort of apply it to things that you're interested in. I think in terms of the faculty which is another component of the people I think one thing that we're particularly um, strong in is that we have exceptional teachers and scholars and people who are committed to service. Well, within the classes that I'm taking for conflict resolution and peace studies. I've taken a lot with professors who have experience in the field, which is very interesting and exciting, and they have a lot to bring from their real world experiences to the classroom. I would say that Duquesne, our program has a very uh, unusual character, a uh, very unusual configuration because it's made up out of, out of two departments, sociology and political science. In my courses, I try to look at these issues, particularly getting students to think critically about the ways in which policy is actually made at the international level, and to some extent at the national level. Because it's a program that reflects these two complementary but very, very different orientations to academic life, uh, there's a lot of kind of interesting intellectual tension in the program that leads to all kinds of creative possibilities. I think the program offers people an opportunity to refine their skills and abilities and to focus their interests on a particular area that they have a commitment toward. I think that we're sufficiently flexible in our classrooms and in our requirements that people come away with a set of skills and abilities to examine social problems, whether they're at the local level, whether they're at the national level, or whether they're at the global level. And I think that that's a kind of a unique thing. So I think we're very accommodating of different types of students. I think we have a pretty diverse student body with a myriad of interests, as I've said previously. And I think that's kind of a very enriching quality to the classroom as well as to the research that they ultimately do.